Dear students, I welcome you all to this JWL preparation playlist. So in this playlist, I am solving various questions from your previous question papers of the JWL exam. So in the 2024 question paper of 4th April 6th 1, this problem came. After understanding the problem, you can use the formula, you can use the concepts behind solving the problem and you will be getting the answers. In the question paper, you need to select for any one of these four options. We have been given that a metal wire of uniform mass density. Okay, this is having a uniform mass density and having a length of L. That is the total length is capital L. And the mass M, capital M means this is the total mass of the wire. It is bent in the form of a semicircular arc. Semicircular means it is half of the circle. So a semicircle will be like this. Okay. This is a, suppose a half part of the circle. This is the center of the circle and this is a semicircle. And we are given that the total mass is equal to capital M. This is the mass of the wire. Total length is capital L. We have a small particle of mass M at the center of this arc. Particle mass is equal to small m. Okay, These are the given quantities and we have to find out the gravitational force on the particle by the wire. Okay, so you have to keep in mind that we have to find out the gravitational force exerted by the wire on the particle at the center of the semicircle. This is the semicircle here. This is the semicircle and we have the center here. So here at the center we have the mass. So let me write down here. Here we have the mass small m. This wire has a mass capital M. This wire has a length, so let me use another color. So this wire has a total length of capital L. So these are the points we have to keep in mind while solving the problem. Okay, so let me wrap down this part. So how we will find out? So we have to find out the force exerted by the semicircular arc on the point particle mass on the particle mass of M. Okay, so let me show you here. Suppose so this mass it will be exerted by some force that is the gravitational force by the wire on the point mass. So from here, let me write down this is the point mass. Okay, we have to find out the capital F. What is the value of capital F? We have to find out. So first thing you have to see here that this is a semicircle. So what is the meaning? Semicircle of length L. From here to here we have length is L. So first thing you have to keep in mind one formula. So we have a formula for the gravitational field due to arc. Arc means it is a part of a circle. We have a semicircle here. So gravitational field due to the arc at the center we have to write also here so this is suppose given by gravitational force at the center so what will be the formula this formula you have to keep in mind twice sine 5 by 2 it will be multiplied with capital Z and capital M what is the capital Z here here capital Z is the gravitational constant and this small m and this capital M what is the meaning here this is the mass of the wire in our case and it will be divided by phi r square so what is the value of phi here phi means it is the angle of this arc or angle of the semicircle here at the center from here to here this angle will be equal to pi okay so we have to find out the force exerted by the semicircular arc on the particle at the particle mass at the center of the circle okay so here you have to keep in mind this formula so from here what we can do here phi value is pi by 2 twice sine 
pi phi means here pi it is replaced by pi because from here we have found this value so pi by 2 and g will be remaining as it is and m is capital m here okay we have already got that total mass is capital m so from here we can write phi is again here pi and r square will remain as it is you can write g c so here one thing you have to keep in mind that for the semicircle let me zoom in for the semicircle what will happen this l is equal to so l is the total length of the semicircle that uh, that the wire is making it will be the half of the circular circumference twice pi r so it will be pi r so from here if we find out the value of capital r capital r is here it is the radius of the circle okay r will be equal to l by pi but equation number one l r is equal to l by pi so this part let me highlight okay this equation i am numbering it to be as a one i can replace the value of l by l by pi okay so from here we can again write twice sin sin pi by 2 means sin 90 degree means it is 1 so let me write down here so let me directly write down the value so sin pi by 2 means sin 90 degree sin 90 degree means it is value is 1 so twice g into capital m divided by pi here we have to replace this r value from here so we will be putting the r value that is l by pi from equation number 1 so it will be l by pi whole square 2 z into capital m into this pi one pi will be cancelled out and this pi at the denominator will come at the numerator okay so n at the denominator will be having l square this is the equation number two so in equation number two we have found out the gravitational field due to the arc at the center okay but this formula we have derived for a point mass in the question we are given that we have a particle mass of m so m value we have to replace with the particle mass so this equation number two is for unit mass particle unit mass means mass is equal to one so in the question we are given that the mass of the given object so here we can write the force is equal to gc multiplied with m m is the mass of the particle so here the force exerted by the semicircular wire on the particle mass will be equal to twice g capital m small m multiplied with pi divided by l square so this is the answer so we have to see the options from the question so in the question this fourth option is the correct answer so in this way you have to solve this problem but you need not follow all the steps in the examination center in the examination center you have to keep the formula in mind you have to use the concept you have to just find out the value of suppose r as l by pi and then we have to find out the value of gc and then we have to multiply the gc with the uh, particle mass small m and then it will be finding out the answer here so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel i will be solving every problem from this paper okay 2024 physics paper i will be solving all the problems i hope you are benefited from this video thank you